this this slide here shows how a functioning personality like an optimally functioning personality works there are elements that deal with one's self internal self and elements that deal with the interpersonal dimension of the person so the internal intra within one person dimension and the interpersonal and there's two for each okay so an optimal functioning personality First of all, there's a sense of identity, meaning that you experience yourself as unique with clear boundaries between self and other. All right, so I know who I am. I know that I'm similar to others, but not entirely like them. So I am unique, but not so unique that there's no overlap. Stability of self-esteem and accuracy of self-appraisal. So I see myself accurately. I esteem myself in a consistent way. Um, capacity for an ability to regulate a range of emotional experiences. So I can both have a range of emotional experiences and I can regulate that range of emotional experiences. That all goes into my identity. And then also in the self category, there is self-direction. What is that speaking of? Pursuit of coherent and meaningful short-term and life goals utilization of constructive and pro-social internal standards of behavior. So in other words, I know where I want to go. It's not that I never change. Yeah, life happens. New data comes on board, new experiences that shifts. That's what self-reflection allows me to do. I have a coherent set of goals, both medium, you know, short, medium and long-term range, and they fit with constructive and pro-social internal standards of behaviors. In other words, it's not just good for me, but it's good for others as well. I'm mindful of how my goals play out in the lives of others as well.